focus on you. Stop worrying about everybody else. Stop looking around at other people. And focus on yourself. You know, too many people do too much crap about other nonsense that clutters their, their, their line of travel, let's say. You know, I know I speak to a lot of young people out there. I can tell by some of the stupid ass comments, and the dumb shit people say, whatever. So, it, it, so be it. If, if, if I have a younger crowd, that's fine. Now, I love talking about my machines and race cars and boats and whatever, but that just doesn't take nowhere near as many views as ranting about BS today, so we rant about BS. <clears throat> so sorry for the old timers who, who are bored because I'm not showing off more of my legs. But anyway, you know, all you young people are growing up in this world today, and, and people will pass judgment on this world. They will pass judgment on this country. They will make remarks and say things that are pure stupidity, and you'll hear it everywhere. You cannot talk about this country as a whole. It's just it's, it's just, just too many individuals. You can't say, well, America this. Not unless you're talking about its laws and regulations and, and, and certain things that are specific to this country. So what you need to do is you need to go ahead and focus on you, yourself, <clears throat> and where you need to be in life. And strange where you need to be and where you need to go so for you young kids I'm telling you this now you're growing up in a sea of morons stupidity of nonsense of bullshit so what you need to do is focus on where you want to be in life right you set a target and then what you do is you look at what you have to do to navigate your way to that target, just like an endurance circle track race. I raced circle track for eight years, 31 trophies, by the way, with the four-cylinder Mercedes, I might add. Anyway, <clears throat> I won from a stock car, but anyway, what I've learned is life is just like a circle track endurance race. The key is to get to the finish line as unscathed as possible. And I noticed on the racetrack, a lot of guys would race with fear. I mean, not fear, they would race with anger. <clears throat> a lot of guys at the circle track would race with anger and they'd try to bully their way through the crowd. Now, that will work on certain occasions depending on who your opponents are. So you get these, these bullies and you know what I would do is, I knew this one guy, he, he, he was angry about everything, and he would just try to fight his way right through the, the pack. So what I would do is, he's a good race, a good driver, and he had a good car, and he, he was up there, he's a top five guy. So what I would do is, I'd get behind him for most of the race, and I'd let him make a mess out of the place, and I'd just follow and follow, and I'd watch the lap counter. And as soon as we had five laps left, I'd start to make my move. And I'd pass him, and I'd beat him every time. And he could never figure it out. He always thought that, he always thought that <clears throat> he was that close to me. You know, oh, I could have got you. I almost got you. I let you do the work for me, you dumbass. So, you know, using people as tools isn't really a bad thing on certain occasions. So what you need to do is you need to focus on you, where you need to be, and where you need to go. And with the track, I had a fear of... I had a fear of people getting in my way. And I had a fear of <clears throat> me getting hit into the wall, spun around. I had a fear of losing time on the track. Everything was about the time. Take everything out of your, 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 your game plan on a circle track. Realize that you need to make your lap times as small as possible to take the win. And if you do that, you'll naturally do things and drive a certain way 
that makes you navigate the track properly to win the race. See, there's, there's the key with life. <clears throat> um, you know, the thing is, I'm not a guy who goes through life unscathed because I'm an honest, straightforward, loud, outspoken guy who doesn't give a shit what people think about me, so I kind of just say it the way it is. Now, I could do that because I own my own business. I'm the boss. I can be the guy I am. Thank God, because I can't see me being somebody else. However, in a lot of situations, you'll find yourself dealing with others. Others who are your boss. Some bosses are douchebags. So you have to, and you, you, you could be like a smarter person and a better person than your boss. And you could know the job better, but he's your boss, so you got to deal with the bullshit. So you, you've got to figure out a way to get past that. you got to figure out a way to get through your day without that shit eating you up. Whatever works, do it. Do it. Focus on the end game. Focus on where you need to be in life. You're young. You're a dumbass. We all were. You have the whole world in front of you. It's right there for the taking. Don't fall into that victimhood bullshit. That Bernie Sanders mentality of let's bring the bottom up to the top. Let me tell you something. There's not enough room at the top of me. There isn't. So you have to step on people to get there. And if you fall into that bullshit that Bernie Sanders or that, that Democratic leftist way of bringing everybody up even and, and letting everybody have an even piece of the pie, you're going nowhere. You're going nowhere. Do you need to realize that in this world it's give and take? And you have to take to get where you need to be. So, don't sit back and fall into that bullshit of, well, I'm going to wait for that program where everybody gets a little piece. Because that program is, is a way to put everybody in their crosshairs. It's a way to take everybody and line them up. So when those idiots who are telling you to do that and telling you to fall into their victim shit can take you away and, and, and put you in a box. It's easier for them to control you like that. So what I'm trying to tell you is think outside the box. Do what you want to do. Do what you have to do. And be prepared to step on people. But here's the deal. It's a rough game. Sometimes you step on people on the way up and you might bump into them on the way down. So it's a balancing act. So, so the key here is to try to be as honest and reasonable as possible on your endeavors. So in the event that in the event that you're going to have friction with one of your stepping stones later on, they don't throw you further down the slide. I don't know how many people are understanding what I'm saying. Watch it twice. Give me some more views. Subscribe. I forgot. I should tell people to hit like, subscribe, and all that bullshit. Do what you want. I don't care. I don't do this for money. I'm not doing this for views. I can give a rat's ass. I don't give a shit about your stupid comments for all you idiots who just say dumb shit. Because the world is full of idiots saying dumb shit. What you want to do is better yourself and get past those idiots. You want to be more than an idiot. Because there are so many idiots in the world. <laughs> what they're doing is they're trying to make everybody become an idiot. So they can put you in a basket and carry you around and let you out when they need you. You're young. Fuck, even if you... I don't want to say that because I know what they do to you on YouTube if you say bad words. So, so, even if you're old, whoever you are, whatever you are, if you need advice and you give a shit about mine and want to listen to it, do yourself a favor. Focus on yourself. Focus on yourself, the people immediately around you. And your friends, they come and go. Your friends will usually come and go. 
as will possibly your family. It is what it is. This is why you need to focus on yourself. And this is why you need to get your shit together. You know, Jordan Peterson wrote a hell of a book, from what I understand. And the guy makes so much damn sense. I don't know. I don't know how anybody disagrees with that man. I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, there's some areas. There's some things that, you know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. And look, by the way, I wouldn't want this world to be a one-sided situation. I believe there's room for everybody in everybody's opinion. What I don't like is when somebody condemns the others giving their opinion and doesn't listen, shouts down. Somebody who lacks debate. You need to debate. You need to talk. You need to go back and forth. You need to play ping pong. Ping pong. I hate these idiots that bring a baseball bat to a ping pong ball game. You can't play the game. You can't do it with a baseball bat. To screw everything up. To bring a ping pong, ping pong bat. Ping, shit. See that fast. Ping pong paddle to the game. So anyway, for whatever it's worth, my bullshit on the way to work rant, I guess the message of the day is get your shit together. Be prepared to piss people off because you're going to. It's part of life. Stop worrying about people's feelings. Don't do stupid shit. And get where you need to be in life. Because this life, there's too many people. There's too many of you. I'm just telling you the way it is. There are too many of you. And not all of you will be successful. There's simply not enough room for it. It's just not going to happen. So don't think, oh, me, me, all of us people, these democratic people who want to make us all victims and give us a good minimum wage is going to make us a better way. It's not. It's not. It's going to put you in a box and lock you up. Me, I don't like being locked up. I don't like being on a leash. You want to be on a leash? Vote Democrat. You want to be on a leash? Keep that victimhood bullshit up. That's being on a leash. If you're if you're young and you're you're starting out in life, you have time. That's something nobody can take away. From you. Nobody can take away time. It's that simple, right? So that's your secret weapon. That's your secret weapon. Your time. So you might be surrounded by older people with money. That doesn't mean shit. If they're older, they don't have time. I don't have the time half my listening audience does. So you got a, 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 a good trick up your sleeve if you use it right. So, once again, work, save your money. Save your money. Do something wisely with it. Listen, if you're young, if you're in your teens or 20s, you got so much time to piss away and you're going to piss it away. Don't piss it away. Don't piss it away. Spend it wisely. Get yourself a job after school. Make your money. Sock it away. And again, don't tell your friends you have it. Because your friends are going to make you piss it away. Alright, so for whatever that was worth, I hope somebody got something out of it. I'm trying to be positive. Because... I see the shit I'm digging through every day to get by. <laughs> and I'm a strong guy in that sense. And I, what I see is I see a lot of weak people getting sucked into bullshit. That's my thoughts here. So, alright, look, I'm done. I'm going nowhere. Get your shit together. Save your money. Focus on the future. And if you have time, use it against everybody else. <laughs>